This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Okay, imagine we have a shopping mall built in the shape of a perfect disc with a one kilometer radius. In this mall, there will be seven different water fountains installed. And the question is, how should the seven water fountains be arranged within this mall such that the maximum distance someone would have to walk to get to a water fountain is as small as possible? And also, what exactly is that worst case scenario distance? And we're assuming straight line distances for everything, by the way, as in you can always walk in a straight line in this mall without running into anything. So for example, it would be dumb, of course, to put all the water fountains up here, because then if somebody is located down here, they've got a pretty far walk to the nearest one. So how do we optimize this, where the longest someone would have to walk is as short as possible? Well, let's take this to Desmos and let's simplify the problem down to three water fountains instead of seven to get the idea of what's going on. So here's our mall with a one kilometer radius and I'm gonna place three water fountains randomly within the mall. They'll just be represented by points from here on. So in this situation, how would we find the maximum distance someone would have to walk? Well, mathematically, it's not too fun to figure out, but visually it's very easy. All we have to do is create three discs centered at the three water fountain locations where each has the same radius. Then I just start increasing that radius, keeping them all equal, until the entire mall is covered. This tells us that the maximum someone would have to walk is 1.12 kilometers and that worst case walk occurs if you're located here because that point is on the circumference of two of those circles, which each have a radius of 1.12. So that's how far you are from the nearest water fountain. At any other point, like this here, you're inside at least one of those disks, which means the distance to the nearest water fountain is less than 1.12 kilometers. So our new question, still sticking to three water fountains, is really, what is the smallest radius R such that we can cover the entire mall with three discs of that radius. Then wherever those discs are centered tells us our optimal water fountain locations. Okay, cool, but still not an obvious answer. However, the secret is to think about the perimeter of our mall. Because to cover the entire mall, these three discs definitely need to cover or touch the entire perimeter as well. Because note, all these discs are closed. So now we're just focused on what minimum radius is needed to cover the perimeter of the mall with three discs. So let me clear these out and ask this. If I gave you a disc of some radius less than one kilometer, 0.5 in this case, what is the maximum arc it can cover of our mall's perimeter? Right now it's covering nothing, but as I slide it, we start to cover more of that perimeter. And it should be apparent that the maximum arc is covered when the ends of this diameter here first touch the perimeter of our mall, since I'm sliding along the x-axis. This right here is the biggest chunk of the perimeter you can enclose with a disc of radius 0.5 kilometers. Then the arc measure here in radians will just match this angle. All we gotta do to find that angle is make this right triangle here, we see that sine of this angle is r, radius of the orange disc, over 1. And then we solve to find that that angle is sine inverse of r. Thus the entire arc, the maximum that can be covered, is double that, 2 sine inverse of r. So like right now, r is 0.5. Plugging that in, we find this arc measure is pi over 3 radians, or 60 degrees. That's the maximum piece of the circumference that can be enclosed with this disc of radius 0.5. So we'd need six of these to cover the entire circumference, but we only get three discs, meaning they each need to cover an arc of 120 degrees or two pi over three radians, one third of the circle. Solving for R, we find the radius is root three over two, or roughly 0.866 kilometers. And this tells us that three discs with that radius can cover our entire mall like we see here. Notice each disc covers an arc of 120 degrees. 
And again, the ends of this diameter touch the perimeter of our mall. Same with these diameters for the other disks. So the circles are covering as much perimeter as possible, and also the entire interior. Anything smaller and the perimeter, and thus the entire mall, cannot be totally covered. So with three water fountains, you will never have to walk more than 0.866 kilometers to get to one. Okay, now let's move up to seven water fountains, because there's still a problem. We now need to find the minimum radius such that seven disks with that radius can cover the entire mall. By applying that same formula as before, where each disk needs to cover 2 pi over 7 radians, 1 seventh the perimeter, we find that radius must be 0.434. However, if we set up seven circles of that radius, they do absolutely cover the entire perimeter when set up optimally. But now, they don't cover the center of the circle. So this radius doesn't work. We can increase the radius until the entire circle is covered, but this isn't optimal. So what we're going to do instead is place one disk in the center and then use the remaining six to cover the perimeter as well as the rest of the interior. So using that same formula but with six circles means that the arc covered by each must be 2 pi over 6. So we find that r equals 0.5. If we set up six circles with that radius around the mall, such that they optimize how much perimeter is covered, with the seventh in the center, we now do cover the entire mall, and we have found our solution. The water fountains are to be located at these centers, and the furthest you can ever be from one is 0.5 kilometers. And by the way, these water fountain locations can be found along the sides of a hexagon inscribed in the mall, as well as the center. Now, some of you might be asking, wait, how do we know this is optimal? Which is the same as asking, how do we know we can't find a radius less than 0.5 kilometers where there's a 7 disk covering? And that's because if r is anything less than 0.5, the maximum arc that can be covered by 6 disks is less than 360 degrees. No matter how I move these 6 outer circles, they now cannot cover the full perimeter. Thus, the seventh one has to be used to do so. It has to cover the remaining perimeter, which is possible. However, if a disk with radius less than 0.5 is covering or even just touching the perimeter of our mall, then it cannot be covering the center. And since all seven are needed for the perimeter, none of them will cover the center. So the covering isn't possible. If you have seven disks or seven water fountains, the radius must be 0.5 kilometers or more to cover the entire mall. This is the best we can do. Now, if you want to look further into this, then look up the disk covering problem. What's interesting is this becomes an extremely difficult question depending on how many water fountains you have. If we ask for five instead of seven, the solution is, well, beyond me. Because here you can see on Wolfram Alpha where you have to solve a lot of stuff. So yeah, three, four, and seven are actually examples with much simpler solutions. And then if you like these kinds of puzzles and mathematical thinking, I highly recommend checking out Brilliant. Brilliant is this educational platform home to over 70 courses in math, science, and engineering. And what's great is that they really focus on interactive exercises, intuitive visuals, and applying what you've learned to the real world, making it a great practical tool for understanding technical topics and the world around you on a fundamental level. One course worth checking out is Beautiful Geometry, which is a more advanced course focused on elegant solutions to geometric problems and puzzles. With Brilliant, you can learn at your own pace, and regardless of your education level, you can always find something new to explore. And you can now try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days. Just go to brilliant.org slash zackstar or click the link in the description below. Plus, the first 200 of you to sign up will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. With that, going to end that video there. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon. Social media links to follow me are down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.